Hi, it's me, David. I'd like to welcome you back to Life with Parkinson's. Thank you for taking the time to watch. Today we're going to talk about supplements. Yay! The different supplements that I take in addition to my medications and the ones that I reap benefits from. I have tried them and I have stopped them and I restarted them again because I found that they actually did help so I'll explain the different reasons why I take them. Big disclaimer here, I'm not advocating that you take the supplements that I take. I take them because they work for me. I recommend that you talk to a healthcare professional. They would be the best one to give you advice. But the ones that I take, I have spoken to my doctors about and they don't seem to mind. I will list all the supplements I take in the description below and briefly the reasons why. But the first supplement I take is harp seal oil. It's basically a source of omega-3 fatty acids and vitamin E and it was introduced to me by a friend who was a registered nurse at the time. She had seen it at use in the hospital she was working at by relatives of the patients who she was caring for and that's why she suggested it to me. One of the reasons that I take this is for some reason it seems to help with internal tremors. When I was first diagnosed with Parkinson's uh, internal tremors developed over time and they are really really annoying if you have experienced them I totally understand it drives you freaking bananas to have something shaking inside of you but once I started taking this you know what my internal tremor subsided and I did an experiment where I stopped taking it for a couple weeks and they came back so I've been taking it ever since probably for three years now and my internal tremors have completely gone away the second supplement I take is lion's mane mushroom. No, it's not magic mushroom. Don't get excited at all. It's basically a lion's mane, a type of mushroom. I honestly haven't done a whole lot of research into it, but I know there have been research studies about this mushroom and I gotta tell you, it does work. I don't like to talk about going to the bathroom a lot, but when I started taking it, you know what? Going number two became regular and consistent. And when I stopped taking it for a few weeks, I had constipation and bathroom issues again so I have been on it ever since and for me it has worked wonders but for you I don't know so the next supplement I take is water oh come on water is not a supplement we drink that every day so the next supplement I take is magnesium L3 on 8 now I have discovered through personal research that there are a lot of different kinds of magnesiums and I was taking the regular magnesium that goes with the vitamin D that you take at nighttime. It did work. It did, you know, settle my legs down and stuff. But I've read a bit of history on these and some studies. And this is the only type of magnesium that is able to break the blood-brain barrier. For those of you who are scientific people, you'll know what I'm talking about. Me, I really don't know how to explain that. But... I did find a big difference when I started taking this magnesium at night that my legs wouldn't like wail around as much and I would quite often wake up in the position I fell asleep in. So when I stopped taking it, I traveled all over the bed and had you know a sleep that wasn't all that great. So when I started taking this again, my sleep returned to much normal as it is and I tend to wake up maybe two to three times a night now. So, in my experience, this has made a big difference for my sleep. Before I go on and talk about the other supplements that I use, I just want to put the big disclaimer in here that, hey, these supplements don't cure Parkinson's. I've seen a lot of misinformation out there and people saying, oh, come to my website, buy my supplements. I'm completely cured of my Parkinson's disease. No, these don't stimulate your brain to start producing dopamine again. Basically, what I found them is that they help with symptom management and that's it. There is no magical cure out there. If there was, believe me, your doctor would tell you. My doctor has promised that he would tell me. Now, you might look at my list of supplements and go, oh my goodness, that is a lot of money. And you know what? These things aren't free and sometimes they aren't cheap. So I suggest you shop around as best as that you can. I get my supplements from many different places. I only buy one or two at the same place. So yeah, if you're going to look into taking some of these, best thing to do is shop around and get the best price that you can and try and get them on sale. I try and get as many as I can from Shoppers Drug Marts and buy them on the 20 times the points day so that their price is greatly reduced.
So the next supplement that I take is vitamin D. Wait a second. This is the creatine. Oh crap, I gotta get the vitamin D. The next supplement that I take is vitamin D, so it's more a vitamin than a supplement. But hey, you know, sometimes I find that maybe I'm not getting enough sunlight and I need my vitamin D to help me through my seasonal depression. So I take it every day and I found, you know, a small improvement in my mood and energy. So I keep taking it based on that premise. Just a little insert here. If you are finding this content helpful and exciting, please hit the like button. It's the best thing that would help other people find this video as well. Thank you. Who doesn't like their melatonin? This is probably my favorite supplement because you know what? Bedtime is one of my favorite times of the day. And when I know I'm going to have a good sleep, I look forward to it very much. So I take the maximum daily dose of my melatonin every day, 10 milligrams. It was actually suggested by my neurologist and I thank him very much. It's made a big difference in my sleep cocktail. So the next supplement I take is creatine. Hang on a second, this is the vitamin D. Oh my God, I've mixed them up again. The next supplement I take is creatine. This one has helped a lot with post-exercise repair. So basically what it does is it helps your muscles replenish themselves and gets water to them, which I have found with Parkinson's is a very difficult thing to do because we need to drink so much water. So when I wake up the next day after a workout session, I've, I've found that this has made a massive difference with mobility. And when I stopped taking it, I was like, wow, I really need to take the creatine. So my personal experience, I found this incredibly helpful. So the last supplement that I'm using is thiamine HCL, which is actually vitamin B1. I've been reading a bit of research and history on this the last few days, and I'm going to give it a try. I'll let you know in the next few weeks what I think about it, but there is a lot of information out there at the moment suggesting that, hey, this can help stop the progression of your symptoms. So you know what? I'm not advocating at this point, but I'm going to try it for a few weeks and see what happens and then stop taking it and I will update you in the future. So what do you think about the supplements that I take? Do you take some of them? Do you feel that they work? Do you feel that they don't work? What's been your experience? Are there some that you're interested in taking that you want to find more information about? Feel free to leave a comment below and I will answer as best that I can. I'm not a supplement expert, but I do know enough information about the ones that I use to give you a little bit of history about them. So the next supplement I take is lion's mane mushroom. Okay, it's not that kind of supplement. I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch and support this channel. I really appreciate it. I've really enjoyed making these videos. YouTube is going to suggest another one up here and they're going to suggest that you subscribe down here. So feel free to do that and I will see you at the next video. Thank you for taking this journey together. Have a good day and goodbye. Hey sweetheart, have you seen my creatine? I swear it was by the sink. I want to put it in the video. They're waiting for it.